Hi guys! So I thought that while we're still in January, I can still get away with showing you my favourite planners of 2015. So I thought I would just go through them in roughly chronological order of when I was introduced to them and tell you why I like them so much. There are quite a few planners here. Um, there are seven in total. But believe it or not, I actually did acquire a number of other planners in 2015 that didn't make the cut. So um, this is just my very top favorites. And we are obviously going to start with my first love of 2015, the Hobonichi Cousin. So in fact, this is a kind of two-part thing because I got the Cousin very early in 2015, in January in fact, although I'd, I'd started um, the year with a different planner, Moleskine, um, but it very quickly became um, my trusted and loyal companion and it has remained so ever since. So this is the Spring Cousin, which officially starts in April 2015, but I got it in February. Okay, so in fact, there was a previous cousin before that. There was a January start cousin, um, but um, I don't have that in one anymore. Um, I was using that as a home planner and that didn't work out. This is my work planner and this is the one that, that stuck and it was perfect as a work planner. So um, I'm going to do another video where I go more into detail about everything that I love about Hobonichi in general, but suffice it to say that this has got everything that I could ever have looked for in a planner. Um, particularly a work planner. So it's got the vertical yearly spread, the month on two pages, the vertical weekly spread, and the daily pages. It's got um, grid paper, it has a different color every month, um, it has this amazing really thin yet strong and good quality Tomoe River paper. Um, I like the fact that it's in Japanese um, it's just the perfect size. I love A5. You're going to be seeing a lot of A5 planners in this lineup, by the way. Um, and I just love everything about it. So that's the cousin in a nutshell. Um, the, the second part of this is um, the cover. This is the sack cover in navy blue. And I actually acquired this much later in October, but this is also one of my favorites. So this is a silicone cover. It's stretchy, but very kind of skin tight and I think that it's just the perfect accompaniment to the cousin and I love it. So the cousin and its cover are both definitely in my favorites category for 2015. So next up is a ringed planner. This is the Filofax A5 Domino patent in pine spots. Um, so the Domino is my favorite of the Filofax. It's Filofax range. Um, it's my favorite line. And I think that there are a number of reasons for that. One is because unlike a lot of Filofaxes, it has this elastic closure around the middle, which I really like. So um, I'm not a huge fan of the snap closure, which is like kind of seems to me to be the sort of default, you know, kind of almost standard closure for ring planners. It's not that I hate it, but if I had the option, I would go for an elastic band um, like uh, the, the Kiki Care Love Doki, um, or this one. And so I think this is really cool because it also kind of makes it look like a traveler's notebook. Um, and I, I like that style. So that's one thing. Another thing is that um, it's, uh, I like the material. It's like kind of a, you know, sort of sturdy. It's actually, it's not great. I think it's PVC, which is really bad for the environment. But um, I like it. I like the stitching. Um, I like the texture. I like the fact that it's very easy to clean. Um, you know, it's kind of hard wearing and I really like this design. I think this is my favorite one there. There are two domino, um, designs with spots, or like polka dots. Um, one is aubergine and it's like a pink and purple. And then this is the other one. And, and this is my favorite of the two, although I like the aubergine one as well. Um, inside it's only got one pocket here, um, which doesn't bother me because, as I've mentioned before, I now just use my ring planners as storage binders. So this is where I keep all of my work related stuff like contracts and um, grant information and like tax stuff. Um, so I don't work with this actively. I only sort of go to it when I need to refer to something. And I'll do another video um, later on all of my um, ring binders and what I'm using them for. So this is just like kind of um, um, a, a 
a, a trailer <laughs> um but i don't need to keep a lot of stuff in here i just keep this is like some cards that i've got from students over the years which i i wanted to keep um because they mean a lot to me and then the, in here i just keep um like all tax information um so there's nothing in that at the moment and um the rest of this is all just like papers and they're all a4 size so i um you know i just fold them in half and punch them and put them in um so i like the fact that you get this um fly leaf with um a kind of coordinating um filofax sheet that's the same color and i mean there's really not a lot more to say about this i like the pen loop it's an elastic pen loop um mainly i just like the color and the material and the texture and this one is a5 but i have also um got others in in the personal and pocket that i keep stickers in so yeah that was um i think definitely my my favorite um filofax find of 2015. um Okay, so on to the next one, the Hobonichi Weeks. So for some reason, I've got a lot more stuff in my favorites category from the second half of the year or really the sort of final three or four months of the year. Um, I don't know why it worked out like that, but obviously um, the, this is the 2016 Weeks, which I only got in October. Um, but I love the week. So this is my personal planner, as um, many of you know, and it's perfect as a personal planner. I love it. Um, I love this color. I love the fact that it's a like this sort of cloth um, hardback, but it's bendy. Um, I like the design, as always, from Hobonichi. <laughs> um, I like the fact that it's got this yearly... Um, vertical spread because I find that really useful for tracking things um, and then that it's got the month on two pages just like the cousin um, and I like the fact that you get all of the months together and then you go into the weeks and um, as for the weeks I like this setup with the week on one page um, Monday to Sunday and the same amount of space per day that's like one of my deal breakers <laughs> um, as you know, the cousin obviously has that as well. And then I like the fact that you get the gridded paper on the other side um, that you can use as like to-do lists um, and shopping lists and things like that. So I think it's the perfect size. Um, one of the things that I really like about it is that like um, the other Hobonichi planners, it's made out of Tomoe River paper, which is really thin. So not only do you have room for your whole year's worth of planner pages, but then you also get 71 pages of note paper. Um, and I love that because I use that for all kinds of things like sort of more long term shopping lists, um, you know, wish lists, all of my YouTube stuff, random notes. Um, and it's it's perfect. And I have never been able to find that kind of setup with that much flexibility in any other planner of the same size. Um, Another favorite, by the way, is this cover, <laughs> unsurprisingly. Um, this is not technically a planning supply. It's um, officially described as a travel wallet, but it fits perfectly um, as a week's cover. And um, it's made out of cork, which I love. So this is definitely a favorite as well. Um, I should add while we are on this topic that um, a further favorite, which is not actually a planner, but I'll just mention it because it's here, is this um, metal friction pen, which um, I really love. So this is just a like kind of um, chrome finished refillable friction pen, which takes 0.5 and 0.7 refills. Um, so that's my weeks and the weeks cover, definitely another favorite. Then we have another ring planner. Um, and this is the Jamie Notes A5 Aqua Planner, um, which is a Malden lookalike. And I love it because it's uh, faux leather. Um, and obviously I, I don't buy um, leather planners. Um, so I, I was really, really happy be when this came out um, because I like the design of the Malden. Um, but I, you know, I was so happy to find a um, cruelty-free alternative. So this is... Um, it's very, very similar to the design of the mold and it's got white stitching and it has this um, snap with a like kind of little brass detail on it button, I guess. This is the actual snap um, and this is what it looks like underneath. So really similar to the mold as you can see. Um, 
And it's funny, I just said that snaps are not my favorite, but I really like this design somehow. Um, so I don't object to the snap. But I think there's something about it that looks very, it's kind of like looks somehow classic. And, you know, like you could imagine that it's a design that could come from like hundreds of years ago. I imagine these sort of like brass, you know, finished like buckles and things like that, if that makes any sense. Um, so when you open it, it's got lots of pockets on the inside, which is also like the Malden. Um, it's a little bit different from the Malden, as I've understood. I've, I've never seen a Malden in real life, but um, they seem to be very floppy, whereas this one has something in here. There's like cardboard or something that's keeping it a bit stiff. That seems to be the only difference as far as I can tell. Um, but it's got a lot of pockets. So like these ones sort of go all the way. Uh, that one, sorry, goes all the way across. And then these ones are like kind of sewn in the middle. Um, so you get sort of one half pocket on either side. And then it's got silver rings, which I like. Um, yeah, silver rings are my favorite. Um, the Domino also has silver rings as I think all Filofaxes or most Filofaxes do. Um, in this one, I'm just keeping stuff to do with our flat. So, um, you know, like invoices for repairs and sort of a few like warranty things and lists of the type of um, like the paint colors. And there's not a huge amount in here because I, I throw most of that stuff in the recycling, but what we do need to keep lives in here. And then you've got another pocket here. So. I kind of feel a bit sad that because I'm just using these for reference binders, I'm not making use of all of the pockets. <laughs> um, I love the pockets. This is just an extra SIM card that I'm keeping in here. Um, but yeah, I don't actually have a, a use for them. But um, I like the fact that if I were ever to need to use, uh, if I did ever have a, a need for pockets, I've got pockets here. Um, and then it's got a pen loop, which is not elasticized. It's made out of the same kind of uh, faux leather as the rest of it. And this is what it looks like on the back. It's, so it's got this detailing, which to, again, to me, looks like um, the back of the Malden from what I've seen on videos. And it says Jamie Notes um, at the bottom here. Um, I've tried to find out information about the Jamie Notes brand, and I haven't been able to find anything. They don't seem to have a website, as far as I can tell. I got this from an Etsy shop. Um, and um they do seem to have another design which is like um like the kate spade it's a zip around in the personal size um and i don't like zip around so that like wasn't something that sort of ever spoke to me but um i think that this is a really really nice planner and so they seem to be a um a great planner company i just don't know much about them <laughs> except that they made this magnificent creation so that's another one then we have another bound planner this is the paper blanks um, and paper blanks has this amazing range of planners and journals that have really intricate cover art and it's it's kind of 3d so it's it's embossed um, and you can feel the texture and they're all based on different types of world art so from illuminated manuscripts and um, like carpet pages of um, you know like medieval um, medieval um, paintings and um, manuscripts to like sort of more modern art um, and I really really like a, like a lot of the designs are just beautiful like like this one um, and I also like the fact that they make the cover material out of um, recycled it's like recycled cardboard recycled materials and um, the paper is all um, like um, from what's it called FSC you know like sort of a sustainable forest paper um, so I really like that and they have um, quite a few different sizes which I like this one is called the ultra and it's bigger than a5 um, which is good for us we use it this is a home planner and um, they also have different layouts so I like this one this is the horizontal layout um, and I love the fact that you get the same amount of space per day and then you get a notes section at the bottom here um, it's also really nice paper quality. It's like kind of really smooth and creamy and it's quite thick, but has a very like kind of soft texture. Um, apparently it's fountain pen friendly. I don't use fountain pens, so I don't know about that, but um, it, it feels really nice. Like, it feels like good quality paper. And it has a pocket in the back, which is great for keeping stickers in. Um, it's like a kind of really good quality. Um, th this is cloth, this sort of um, the like folding part and then this is made out of the same sort of like thick 
um, card as the end paper. Um, it doesn't have a pen loop. I added this. That's the only thing about, well, bound planners in general. But, um, and it has this really good quality elastic on the back here. And you've got the same design, which like kind of runs over the whole thing, including the spine. And I love that. I think it's just really, really good quality and beautiful. And it always makes me happy to look at it. So that was another fantastic find of 2015. Then, the stack is getting taller. We have another ring planner. This is the Doki Book or Love Doki Royal Purple A5 ring planner. And um, when I saw this, I was like, oh, purple, <laughs> because purple is my favorite color. Um, and so I was really excited um, like to see a purple planner. And I like um, the gold dots and the fact that it has an elastic. So this is the other type of elastic that I was talking about before when I said I like ring planners that have elastics. Um, either this type, like the domino, or this type. Um, and I've only seen Kiki K and Doki Book do this kind of elastic. So this one um, has a really nice, um, like sort of contrasting gold. It's like the whole theme is gold and purple. Um, it has great pockets. This is something else that I love about Doki Books is that they have this awesome pocket configuration. So um, I think that this is like the Kiki K's used to be, but it seems like the, the newer Kiki K's from what I've seen in videos have changed the pocket configuration so you don't get as many pockets. Um, but Doki books all seem to have this, at least the ones that I know of. Um, so you get a secretarial pocket here, and then you get one like kind of deep pocket that goes all the way down from the top, and then you get um, another two smaller ones. So I really like this. I like the stitching, like kind of the way that it's all very nicely finished um, inside and out. Um, and I like the, the design, like kind of the, the shape. Um, and um, this one's got gold rings, which usually are not my first choice. Like I would go for silver, but because the whole thing is, is gold and purple, it's okay. <laughs> um, I also really like the Doki Book ruler. So they give you this ruler, which is like a very kind of sturdy uh, plastic. If you compare it to the Filofax ruler, which is a lot bendier, it's still bendy, but it's sturdier. And it says today is a lovely day, which makes me happy. And it's, um, it's kind of, the lettering is kind of like sort of, goldy. I don't think it's actually gold. It's maybe more of a peach, but it looks kind of gold. So it, it matches the, um, the interior. And then it has this nice series of dividers. So the dividers came with it. So you've got one that says, I just want to make pretty things, which is nice. And um, I'm just keeping recipes in this. And then you've got others that have designs and it's all like gold foil. And I think that it's not just the purple one. I, I think that um, the other sort of new Doki book styles um, also have these dividers because I've seen pictures of them on like that there's a gold one and a silver one and I think that they have this type of divider as well. Um, so you just have some different designs and um, I've just got some spare paper in here and then it comes with a um, very like hard plastic um, fly leaf at the back or, or page, page lifter. Um, I've got some extra Doki book rulers in here. And then it's got this other pocket that goes all the way down. And again, like always really nicely finished, which um, I really like with Doki book because some of the filofaxes that I have, and I really like filofax. Um, so I'm not knocking filofax, but like sometimes on the inside, like say the filofax Safiano, it's just like slip pockets and they're not finished. They're not like rough or unfinished, but they're not like kind of stitched like this. So I really like this if you can see bit closer you can see the stitching um, so they're all really nicely finished and then you've got another pocket here which goes the whole length of it um, and like again this like kind of gold sort of shiny gold it's not coming up very well on camera but it is a it is gold it's kind of like a sort of it's shiny but a bit muted it's not like a really strong gold color but it is gold um, and it just says, love Doki, enjoy your life. And an elastic pen loop. And one of my favorite things about Doki books is that their pen loops are amazing. Like they can, they can fit um, gigantic pens in them. So like, for example, I've, I've done this on millions of videos. So sorry if you've already seen this, but it never fails to delight me. So it can fit a 0.7 friction pen with the, um, with the like silicone grip, which I've never had another pen loop that can do really, really easily. 
um, it, like the silicone sticks a bit, but you can see that it's got more than enough room. It's like really loose inside. So I love that. Um, and then it's just got the same uh, gold dots on the back. So that is the Doki book. And then the next planner is the Happy Planner. <laughs> um, so this was kind of a surprise. I wasn't expecting to like this planner. As I've, as I've said, I ordered it because I was really curious to try the disband system. And at the time I couldn't find any other disband options, but then I, I ended up really liking this. Um, so James and I are using this as our um, like meal tracker. Um, and in fact, it's turned, it's evolved. So it's kind of become like everything to do with food. So I'm like keeping all of our um, like food shopping, um, how much we spend like kind of keeping a log of how much we spend on food shopping in here and also started to do meal planning and so it's kind of like a happy planner miracle because we've never been able to do meal planning before um, and this is the first time that it's worked I'm putting it on the monthly pages so that's very exciting um, so I like I like quite a few things about this planner first of all I I like the discs um, I like the disc brand system um, in general um, I like the colors like I like the fact that each month has a different color on the weekly pages. I really like the vertical layout. Um, obviously, I like the vertical layout in general. I like it on the cousin, um, so I, I, that works well for me. But I like the fact that it's divided into morning, afternoon, and evening, which works really well um, as a food tracker. Um, and um, I like the fact, again, it'll be no surprise that it's uh, that it gives you equal space for every day. Um, and, and doesn't divide the weekends. And um, I like the the notes pages and like kind of the little quotes at the bottom and the washi and these geometric patterns. Um, it's also a really good deal. I mean, this is, I think, one of the things that everybody likes about the Happy Planner is that, you know, it's 18 months and it's, it's, it's quite um, affordable. Um, so yeah, I like the color scheme, obviously, I like some of them better than others because they're five different designs and this was the one that I liked the best um, of the five for, you know, for the inside design because it's quite plain. It doesn't have a lot of frills. Um, so I just like the, the fact that it has these different colors. Um, I kind of feel like um, now that the Doki book disc agenda has come out, I, I, I'm like a thousand percent sure that that is going to eclipse the happy planner um, because that sort of all of the things that I don't like about the happy planner that has sort of fixed my complaints um, so I think that that will be my dream disc bound planner and probably that will feature on my best of 2016 planner video when it happens but that is just a, a, a prediction um, so as of now for 2015 this was like kind of definitely one of the highlights and now we come to the final planner. Um, and this one I didn't actually get until 2016, but I ordered it in 2015. And it obviously it, it came out in 2015, towards the end of 2015. Um, and this is the um, Zinidori Unicorn Traveler's Notebook um, in Summer Sonata, I believe is the color. It's the, the blue one. Um, so this was like the first time that I sort of experienced the um, feeling of just like really falling in love with a traveler's notebook that I have, you know, seen so many people on YouTube that really love their traveler's notebooks and I never quite got it. And I think that was because I hadn't yet found the perfect, um, vegan leather traveler's notebook. And now I have, and now I totally get it. Um, so I just love everything about this. Um, I, I really love like the feel of the, um, um, of the vegan leather. It's just like this kind of like soft and smooth, but very like sort of thick and a bit spongy and like rugged. It, it feels like you could carry this around as your everyday planner and like throw it in your bag and it, it would survive well. And I really like that. Um, I like the stitching. Look, beautiful, beautiful stitching. I love that. Um, I think something that I mean, there are not that many vegan leather, leather traveler's notebooks out there, but a lot of the ones that I've seen, I like, don't have all of these details that just make it look really amazing. Um, I like the fact that it has a, um, the elastic comes from the spine rather than the back, because I think it looks like nice and clean. There's nothing sort of interrupting um, the, 
the body of it, um, if that makes sense. And this looks kind of really discreet um, on the side. Um, I love the pockets, the pockets. Oh my goodness, I love the design of the pockets. And then I also love the fact that it has all these pockets. So it's um, got this one like really big pocket and then it has um, two sort of half size pockets um, and they're all scalloped and it's got the logo here. And I just love all of this. This design is beautiful. Um, and then I love the fact that it has four elastics because um, I know that you, you, you know, you can connect your two travelers notebooks together and put them in like that on a single elastic, but I'm, you know, very lazy. So um, I'm just happy that it has the four elastics. It wouldn't be a problem if it didn't have them, but I, I like the fact that it does have them. Um, so I've got four notebooks in here um, and they just fit in like perfectly and there's tons of room. There's absolutely no overhang. It's beautiful. Um, I'm sorry if you if you saw my review of this and you've heard me say all of this stuff about how much I love it, but um, hopefully um, you won't mind hearing it again. Um, and then um, I love the secreta secretarial pocket on the back and I just like how this is like really thick and chunky, all of it. Um, it just feels very, very sturdy, but not kind of like heavy or bulky um, and that you've got like, you know, the same beautiful stitching going all the way around. Um, so that's that. So there you have it. Let's see. We'll just bring this whole stack over here. So um, I will just spread these all out on the table so that you can admire all of the beautiful plannery goodness. Um, so yeah, my, my planner favorites of 2016 um, from beginning to end, we have first of all my my first true planning love the hobonichi cousin and then we have um the filofax domino in pine spots and then we have the hobonichi weeks i also really like the hobonichi a6 by the way but it just uh i didn't make it into my favorites i think because the two that really stand out for me are the cousin and the weeks. I use the A6 as a gratitude book and it's perfect for that. And I'll go into more detail about that in um, in another video. But I think if I had to pick my kind of my two favorites, they would definitely be um, the cousin and, and the weeks. Um, because as planners, they work better for me, I think. Um, and then we've got the Jamie Notes, um, AKA the Vegan Malden. Um, and then we have the Paper Blanks planner, the Love Doki Royal Purple, the Happy Planner, and the Zinidor Unicorn. So um, I hope that you enjoyed this tour of my year's planner highlights, and I will be back again soon with another video. So thank you so much for watching as always. I really appreciate it, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.